Well, the American Journal of International Law has a very long history. It's been in publication for over 110 years, which makes it uh, really a tremendous resource of long-standing uh, scholarship from the early uh, 20th century. And I think that's one difference, that history. I think it's also very much uh, focused on trying to merge the many of the latest uh, trends, both in scholarship and what is happening in terms of uh, real-world events with what is happening in the world of legal practice and government. And so in that sense, it's uh, a very distinctive uh, source for uh, both uh, professors, scholars from around the world, uh, but also for anyone who is involved in the day-to-day -day practice of international law to learn what the latest trends actually are. I think it's also very distinctive that we've set up uh, an online companion, Angel Unbound, in the last few years, which has provided an opportunity for scholars who have not uh, previously had a chance to publish in the journal to publish in its online companion and begin to develop an idea which they can develop further in more uh, extensive scholarship over time. So we really view one of the distinctive features is having both a, a long-standing, very um, long-standing print edition, now complemented by an online edition that's really much more nimble and able to respond uh, in closer to real time to current developments. And I echo everything Larry just said. Uh, uh, certainly as compared to most of the law reviews in the United States that I often publish in, uh, one thing that's distinctive for AGIL, of course, is that it has peer-reviewed selection of the manuscripts and then uh, peered editing and feedback on the manuscripts, which can be invaluable for improving the drafts of papers. And um, even for the papers that it's not able to publish, uh, the editors-in-chief of the journal uh, provide constructive feedback on many of the manuscripts that they receive. And as we've started to do some of that work on the manuscripts, we often uh, get appreciative notes from authors, even for the papers we're not able to select for publication, for the feedback that, uh, that we're able to provide uh, for them. And I think that's uh, distinctive as compared to a lot of the other uh, journals out there. Um, and uh, Larry also mentioned uh, one of the most dynamic parts of the journal, the Agile Unbound. And I've had the uh, privilege of helping to supervise uh, uh, that aspect of the journal for about a year now. And it allows us to have every few weeks or so, a timely symposium of uh, shorter essays on topics of, of general interest. And it also brings in many other authors. Um, and over time, some of those authors, of course, may end up publishing longer pieces with the journal as well. And so it's also a way to connect with authors from around the world who, uh, to the journal. Um, the final thing I would note that I think is not always know, uh, well known is that the journal publishes a variety of uh, different uh, lengths of uh, papers within the print journal. So it has the full-length articles, but it also has uh, shorter essays and comments and current developments. And so there's uh, an array of possibilities out there for authors uh, who are working on different kinds of manuscripts.